So we are going to show you the Wi-Fi sensing demo based off our Wi-Fi Bluetooth combo chip, the 43756. It's a Wi-Fi 6E enabled radio, which does Wi-Fi Bluetooth uh, on it and can do Wi-Fi sensing. And the machine learning model that's driving it is running on our Astra SL1680 platform. Wi-Fi sensing can go into various applications like home security, elder care, and many others. So Nanda, this is our Machina platform right here? This is the Machina platform and our connectivity solution has been programmed for the Machina. So this platform. is sitting on top of Astra that we launched just earlier in the year at Embedded World. Exactly. Wi-Fi sensing offers, opens up what kind of areas? What, what's, what's the benefits of using Wi-Fi sensing? So think about it uh, like when you talk about home security, the way you can figure out occupancy or intrusion in a home you can either use a camera, which has obviously privacy concerns, or you can use some more expensive technology like radar or ultra wideband and whatnot. But think about it, Wi-Fi is ubiquitous, like almost all, why, it's all around your home. Why don't we just leverage that to detect th these things? And that's what this is doing. So it's reading the channel information, decoding it and figuring it out, whether it's a large motion or someone's there without moving, but just from their breathing pattern. What's so, the limit? How many things can you detect? So, so it essentially there's no limit. You have to just train the AI model to just detect that. Right now we are, have trained this to detect motion and breathing, but it can also, you can train it to do something like fall, like, like in a, say in an elder care facility, you want to have this in every room and see if a old person falls down, or you can do things like whether it's a pet or a, human to distinguish between those kinds of motions. So this has got healthcare activities. Exactly. It's got security activities. Yeah. Beyond just a camera, because it's Wi-Fi, the AI model on this can determine, does a person in the whole home call the police versus there's a dog running around. Exactly. Everything's fine. Right? Yeah. Or if you have not heard from my mom who stays overseas, is he moving around? Is everything fine? okay? Yeah, exactly. Absolutely, right. Now, the other thing about this, Wi-Fi is really interesting because where a camera could sense you in a room, if we had windows here in this house, right. this could actually sense people outside the windows. Yes. So this would actually give us the ability to determine, hey, there's somebody outside you should be aware of when you don't necessarily have a sensor outside in the garden. That's exactly right, Andy. So it doesn't have the line of sight limitations that a thing like a camera has, it can, if you train it right, you can even go beyond the premise and see what's beyond there because Wi-Fi has a pretty long range up to like, I would say a few hundred feet. Right, right. Which is pretty much any big home, even any part in any part of the world, right? So this is fabulous for home, but this must, must also have opportunities for automotive as well. Exactly. So actually uh, good that you bring it up and let me dwell on that. One of the, I'm sure you guys have read about news articles where people leave their children in the car seat and then uh, unfortunately they die from excessive heat or cold because the mom just oh I'll be gone for 10 minutes in the grocery store but this a thing like this in the car can detect that hey you have left your child or an infant behind and alerts either the authorities or even alerts the mom or the dad. So you could get an SMS on a phone yeah. or something like that. Hey, exactly. somebody's in the car or you've left a pet in the car. Yeah, absolutely. So it's another safety and security, yes. but into an automotive marketplace. Yes. And there is a term in the automotive market called child presence detection. And we are seeing a lot of traction from a lot of our automotive customers. Excellent. How do you make sure there's no false positives and uh, the AI can just be so precise so we train the AI model to, the one thing is to look for the right thing, but also what not to look for. So we basically, for example, when we trained this thing, we had people walking around, shaking their head, hands, making motion outside, right outside. And we trained the AI model to not identify that those are outside versus when someone's in and breathing close by. It's is a lot this, of AI model training. Is this specifically only relevant to one of our particular parts or can this run across the entire Veros portfolio? It can run across the entire Veros portfolio. It just has to have the right software. If I have a big Wi-Fi network, can I just add it to it and use the whole Wi-Fi network to sense? Absolutely, that's what it is doing. So this thing is talking to a home router that's behind one of those cabinets and all it does is it just sends 
a few packets per second to probe the environment and then the router just responds back with a regular acknowledgement and based on the packet exchange it decodes the what's happening in the environment. So this is great where the Machina product that we actually launched earlier in the year, the development kit, can enable people to very quickly get into market. The capabilities of having the processor that we've got with Astra combined with our Veros wireless model, and that's what we've got on the bottom there, is an M.2 card with our Veros wireless chip, enables people to very rapidly produce these capabilities for products. So early prototyping can happen in a heartbeat. And that's what's really great about combining together, I think, the Astra portfolio and the Veros portfolio. Absolutely, because again, any IoT system you think of today has a processor and connectivity. You have to process what's going on and then you have to send it over to someone to make meaningful information out of it. And we marry those together. But, but having them as separate devices is also providing flexibility. Exactly. So customers can determine, I need this kind of wireless module but I need this level of processor yes. or compute. And, and that's what is the breadth and the depth of both our connectivity portfolio and the processor. So a customer might say, let's say, make a lower cost version of a panel like this with, let's say, some of our lower cost processor and lower cost connectivity, but they can use that same software and build a more premium product with our premium radio and premium processor. So Astra's in the marketplace. Verus we're announcing today, which is our whole mm -hmm. portfolio for wireless. Wi-Fi wi sensing also available for people who want to be able Absolutely. to deploy that today. Yeah, we are demoing and we are, we, this demo is available for our customers to evaluate. Also, we have third-party partners who build just the Wi-Fi sensing algorithm and we sell them the processor and the connectivity chip. And those partnerships are also very important for us to build the whole ecosystem. Where are you thinking to, to sell it in? Could it be in a hub, in the router, in the, could it be in the access point, or is it just like a tablet that you add? It, it could it? be in uh, any of those devices, but what we are targeting is pre like the security devices, like a tablet like this, or it can be a, like a sensor that's some plugged into the corner of your room. It can be even part of a security camera where you don't want to take pictures right away because you want to save battery but you want to first validate that indeed there's a person and inside them it's not a leaf moving and then wake up the camera more meaningfully so that it doesn't keep waking up and consumes or drains all its I battery. Think this is the reality of the home, right? The IoT home now has more and more devices that are connected. So as we advance, I know in my home now there's hundreds of devices around the house. It's crazy. Years ago it wasn't anything like that. But all of these devices can now talk to one another. So when you're talking about Wi-Fi sensing, it's not just a sensor in one room. You can combine all of these devices together to give you a real map of the property. Mm -hmm. Exactly, that's true. And that's, uh, we can use, like if you can have few of these devices spread around the house to create a zone, and you can do like peripheries and all of that so that you have an exact mapping of the home, like Andy said. But if you have all these devices, you just need one of these to be s turn your Wi-Fi into a smart network. And, and don't you need to have access to the router or something? Or how do you get the information from your whole mesh? So the router the doesn't need to have any of our technology. The router can be a regular router that you buy off of Amazon or Best Buy. All this does is it sends what we call probe packets and the router has to send acknowledgement back, which it does anyways, if it has to be Wi-Fi compliant, any packet it receives, it will send an acknowledgement. And with that packet transfer, this device then captures all the information it needs, which we call channel state information to do, understand what's happening in the environment. So it's a great match with mesh networks. And you just add it to it and you got it. Yes. Anything like anything that is off the shelf Wi-Fi, you just need a one device and if you need more accuracy, bigger coverage, maybe two or three of these devices. But those products that someone buys off the shelf does not need any of that. So this is like, like hot plug and play. And you're kind of thinking of using Wi-Fi for security, right? You're using Wi-Fi for IoT security and a whole bunch of new things. It's, it's security, it's healthcare, it's automotive, as we mentioned earlier. There's so many different applications for this to be able to fit, and that's the flexibility of the Veros platform. Yeah. 